So in this video, we will learn about two different methods regarding the correction of the press biopia and those are the plus buildup method which is very easy and the next one is called the near geochrome method. You have learned, we have learned many times about the geochrome test. You know that the geochrome test is actually the part of the subjective reflection which is actually used to refine, to re-verify the best vision sphere. If you want to learn about the geochrome test in subjective reflection, right, we have a detailed video, you can watch this video, right. And we have discussed many times that before prescribing the press biopic correction, before prescribing the near ad, your patient should be emetrope with correction or without correction, right? Your patient must be emetrope. If your patient is myopic, then correct his myopia or her myopia. If your patient is hyperop, then correct her my hypermetropia or his hypermetropia. If your patient is astigmatic, then correct his or her astigmatism. Then, then you will prescribe the press biopic correction. And now we will discuss about our first met method of this video, which is plus buildup method. Suppose our distance correction, as I said, the distance correction should be placed before the patient's eye, before prescribing the press biopic correction, right? Suppose our distance correction of our patient is plus three with minus one cylinder at 90 degree, right? So this is our distance correction in both eyes, right? And now, what is actually the plus buildup method? And now you will have to give, you will have to make your patient hold his or her reading material, reading chart, right? At his or her required working distance, right? We have discussed about the required working distance. You will make your patient hold a reading chart, right? And you will ask the patient that hold that reading chart on his or her required working distance. As you know that different age groups has different required working distance. Someone work at 25 centimeter, someone work at 30 centimeter and some, someone at 40 centimeter. Different people have different working distance. So that patient will put the reading, reading chart at its desired working distance, right? And now the distance correction is plus three with minus one cylinder at 90 degree, right? And now the scenario is that we have make our patient to wear the trial frame and the trial frame is already placed with this correction distance correction and now we will add our near add with the interval of plus 0.25 before the both eyes right we will take plus 0.25 from the trial box and we will add gradually and intervally with the difference of plus 0.25 before the patient's both eyes right and until we will increase that press power we will increase that near addition until the patient gain the visual acuity on reading chart which is n6 this method is very easy you will increase that near addition which is increasing with the interval of plus 0 0.25 and we will stop that increasing near add until we until our patient gains the n6 visual acuity on reading chart this is simple that plus build up method. And now our next method is near teochrome test, right? We can find our near ad, we can find our press biopic correction with the help of the teochrome method or teochrome test at near, right? We have studied about the distance teochrome test and now we will discuss about the near teochrome test. You know, diomin 2 and chromine colors. This is a test which have two different colors, right? But remember that geochrome test is never ever a color based method, right? Is never ever a color based test, right? So, suppose our distance correction always distance correction correction should be placed, and this time distance correction is in minus one with minus zero point five cylinder at one eighty degrees. Suppose this is our distance correction, and now geochrome test. You can see a chart on the screen, right? This is called a near geochrome screen or near geochrome chart, right? You can see a red background, you can see a green background, and you can see the optotypes on the red and green backgrounds, right? And distance correction is placed before the patient's eye, which is minus one with 0.5 cylinder at 180 degree in the both eyes, right? And now we can make our patient to hold that chart at required working distance, right? and the patient is looking at the near diochrome chart, 
right and now we will ask that patient that on which background right red or green the alphabets are more clearer darker and sharper this question is very important that you have to ask the patient about the alphabets you have to ask about the patients about the optotypes not the colors you will ask the patient that on which background those optotypes or those alphabets or numbers are more clearer darker and sharper right and of course we are prescribing plus add right it means that our patient's eye is deficient for the plus power right and if we our eye is deficient for the plus power it means and if you remember the distance uh, teochrome test when there is deficiency of plus power then we have to add the plus power right and in deficiency of plus power the optotypes on the green backgrounds would be more clearer darker and sharper right so in this case because the plus power is deficient in the eye accommodation is lost right and now because accommodation is lost it means what does it mean when i say accommodation is lost it means that the plus power in the patient's eye is lost so there is a deficiency in the plus power there is deficiency of the plus power in the patient's eye right so that's why patients will prefer the green background the patient will prefer the, the optotypes on the green background right i must say so consider this blue color as green you know that the green color is in front of the retina yellow color is on the retina and the red color is behind the retina this is difference of wavelengths right the red color has more wavelength so that's why red color is behind the retina yellow color you you have to consider this black color as yellow the yellow color is on the sensitive layer of the retina and this you have to consider this blue color as the green color so the green color is on in front of the retina this is the normal condition right but in deficient plus power in the eye which has the deficiency of plus power the scenario will be different like if this is the eyeball because there is deficiency of plus power then you know that the plus power or the plus lens is actually the converging lens right so there is deficiency of plus power it means there is a deficiency of convergence there is deficiency of converging in the patient's eye so if there is no dike convergence there would be divergence so all the all these three light rays will diverge so the green color will come nearest to the retina the yellow color will go slightly behind the retina because there is divergence due to deficiency of the plus power and the red color will go far away from the retina right so with placing this minus 1 sphere with 0.5 cylinder at 180 degree patient is looking at near diochrom chart and the condition is here all the light rays when patient is looking at near at the near diochrom chart all the light rays are diverging because there is deficiency of plus power so which color is most nearest to the retina and that is green color right so that's why patients will prefer that the optotypes which are on the green background are more clearer darker and sharper so we have discussed in the last video in diochrome for the subjective refraction we know that if the green ggp mean if the green is good g for green g for good then we have to increase the plus power right and if the red is good if red is clearer darker and sharper the optotypes then red r mean red g mean good and we have to increase the minus power if green color is dominant if green color is nearest to the retina then we have to increase the plus power so in this case the green color is dominant the optotypes on the green background are more clearer so we have to increase the plus power so we will increase the plus power right until our patient gets the n6 visual acuity until the patient gets the n6 visual acuity and in near near diochrome chart until the patients get equally clearing equally clearance on the red and green background if the optotypes on the red and green background are equally clearer equally sharper and equally darker then we will stop increasing the plus power that would be our neutral point and that power which is in the patients before the patient's eye would be our near add
right suppose in this case when we placed plus 2 before the patient's eye right we will we are increasing 0.25 then the light will converge right then we will go for 0.5 plus 0.5 then 0.75 then plus 1 then 1.5 and then when we will achieve plus 2 spores then all the light rays are at its normal place the yellow color is on the retina right green color is at equidistance from the retina and red color is at equidistance from the retina so this is our neutral point and that power would be our near add hope this is clear